All right, here with Matt Sensherwitz. I won the men's 3K here at the Dempsey meet. Uh, Matt, this is your Rust, Rust Buster for 2017. Um, how'd you feel about, how'd you feel out there? Yeah, it felt good. I mean, um, didn't know like what to expect really. Uh, last year I opened up with the 755 this time of year and so I kind of looked at it like anything faster than that I've been pretty pleased with and uh, luckily I had Kieran to help me out get it going early on and he went went pretty uh, pretty aggressive which actually I would prefer as a miler definitely put some money in the bank um, and so I was pleased with kind of holding on a little bit um, definitely the pace lagged a little bit in the middle but uh, came home and was able to get on 750 which is uh, yeah very pleased with this time of year. And how's, um, if at all, how's the weather in Portland recently been impacting your training? It's been snowing, 8 inches, 10 <coughs> inches, it's been icy, right, yeah. unlike Portland. I mean, obviously it's not ideal for training and, um, you know, getting some race pace uh, effort in, but I think we've been doing a pretty good job. Um, still able to have a treadmill in my house, which is pretty convenient, and get the mileage in. And uh, we don't have the house to track this year in Portland, which mm -hmm. was a really uh, convenient thing last year. Yeah. Um, definitely helped us get some pretty quality workouts in, but um, nonetheless, I definitely feel like um, I'm in pretty good shape and pretty happy with where I'm at this time of year. Yeah, and coming off the Olympic championships, um, I'm sure you relive that glorious moment often. How, if at all, has that changed your perspective on this upcoming year, if anything like that? Uh, I mean, probably hasn't changed that much. Um, Goals are the same. I mean, obviously, my confidence um, definitely helped with that. But um, you know, coming into this 2017 year, I mean, obviously, still have my sights on London um, World Championships and going back there and um, hopefully winning. But also this year, I'd like to chase some pretty fast times and um, get some more PRs and other distances, such as the outside the 1500, you know, like the mile, and mm -hmm. maybe step up and do a couple 5Ks here and, and uh, yeah, just kind of have fun with it. Is there uh, anything that you have a New Year's resolution for besides, you know, running things? Anything outside of that you're, like, looking to do this year that you'd like to share with the world? Uh, I shared a couple um, the other day with Runner's World, which was um, kind of uh, have a write a handwritten letter, handwritten note to someone once a month, and then um, just kind of reach out and, and uh, I don't know, reach out to some fans and some, some people that contact me um, through social media and... Uh, I just get back a little bit whether it's you know I get a lot of questions about my training and yeah. some some stuff like that so I think that would be really cool I know growing up I had uh, some idols and guys I looked up to and uh, would have been really neat to to hear what they had to say so other than that though I mean um, outside of running I'm trying to think just I guess I don't know just in, uh, enjoy the racing enjoy uh, um, all the different cities we got to go to and yeah. um, a lot of times we go there and it's kind of like a business thing and mm -hmm. you're kind of stuck in the hotel and stuff but uh, you know this year just kind of enjoy I guess being uh, the Olympic champ and just yeah just enjoying all the perks that it comes with. Yeah awesome well when's your next race coming up? Two weeks in Boston. Okay. Do a mile there. Sweet well so, yeah. good luck to you then and thank you so much great job today. Thank you.